The hiking trail, part of the 100-mile wilderness section of the Appalachian Trail, is located in the western mountains of the state, just northwest of Brownville. Navigating the logging roads that lead to the trailhead, though, proved to be a rough and muddy venture. We're here at the Gulf Hagas Trailhead, part of the Appalachian Trail Network and also what is known as the Grand Canyon of Maine. At the trailhead site, we see some parking areas, a very muddy trek to get here. We do see a trail map as well, listing out that we looks like we will be fording a stream, so this will be a difficult hike, as is also indicated on some of this trail information here, especially with the wet conditions, we will be taking our time. According to the book New England Waterfalls by Greg Parsons and Kate Watson, Gulf Hagas is easily one of Maine's finest day hikes. Remember the stream I said we were going to have to ford at the beginning of the trailhead? Well, it looks like this is it. We're just going to step right across this. It's not too deep, so it shouldn't be too bad. And the trail continues just on the other side. Not too bad proved to be wrong. The water was deeper, colder, and flowing faster than it looked. We crossed our way across the deceptive stream. It felt like melted ice. The rocks were slimy. Definitely a treacherous cross, but we're still on our way to the falls here at Gulf Vegas. We continued along the trail, which led further uphill before coming to a few more streams we would have to cross. We just crossed another stream and now we've made it to this sign here indicating where all the waterfalls are along the Gulf Vegas Rim Trail. Screw Auger Falls, just a tenth of a mile in that direction. The trail continued to meander along the stream, passing by many unnamed waterfalls before coming to this beauty, Screw Auger Falls. We made the trek down a rocky slope to get down here to get a little bit better view of the waterfall, Screw Auger Falls, feeling a cold mist coming from this waterfall today, but just a breathtaking view. At the waterfall, Gulf Hagas Brook rushes back and forth in a screw-like pattern before dropping 25 feet into a deep pool encircled by a bowl-shaped rock wall. A truly natural wonder tucked back in the secluded gorge in the mountains of Maine. Well, there you have it, Screw Auger Falls, a beautiful hidden gem, really, on the Appalachian Trail. Now, keep in mind, to recap this trail, we had some difficult logging roads to navigate before even making it to the trailhead. Then once we were on the trail, some rocky terrain, uh, definitely some slippery rocks on the way. You had to take your time making your way across those. The same when it came to fording some of those streams. No matter which way you look at it, even on a dry day weather-wise, you're still going to get wet. So a good idea to bring some extra pairs of shoes with you as you make your way on this hike. Also, this is not the only waterfall on this Gulf Pegas Trail. In fact, if we would have continued down, we would have seen several more. So you could really make this an entire day's hike.